Hi, as a maths teacher, you are expected to draw some geometric figures like these for your class. Now, there are two ways to do this. One is the laborious manual way and the other way is the smart way. Let me show you the manual way. First, you go to Auto Shapes Gallery, pick up the line tool, then right click on the tool, go to log drawing mode so you can access the tool over and over again. So let me click on that. Now, let me draw a horizontal line like this. Then from there, I draw another line like this and then I draw another line like this and then try to connect it somehow. Can you see here, it is quite a painstaking process and it is not always accurate. And if for any reason you want to change the angle of the shape that you just drew, then you may have to redraw everything from the beginning. There is a much smarter way to do this and I'll show you how. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program, a comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training program for professionals. This is the shape that I just drew using a technique I'm about to show you. The best part is once you draw the shape, you can change the angles the way you want. For example, I can right click on this, go to format shape, go to effects option. From 3D rotation, I can change the X rotation like this. Can you see here? The whole shape changes absolutely with proportions. The same way I can change the Y rotation and I can do all kinds of manipulations to the same object. I can choose any of the presets. Now, once I have one shape drawn and if I want to change the nature of the shape to say square, I can do so by going to shape format, edit shape, change shape, and I can choose this rectangle and instantly I have a cuboid ready. If I want to have a cylinder, I just need to go to edit shape, change shape and use oval and a cylinder is ready. So how do we create this beautiful wireframe effect? Let me show you from scratch. Here I am on a new slide. The first step is to choose the shape you want to draw the wireframe of. In this case, I want to choose a hexagon. So let me go to Auto Shapes Gallery. From basic shapes, let me pick up this hexagon shape hold the shift button down and draw the shape like so. Then I need to decide on the perspective. Let me give this a 3D perspective by right clicking and using format shape. Go to effects option, go to 3D rotation. Let me choose one of the angles. There are quite a few beautiful preset options available here. You can choose any of these and then you can make the final adjustments by changing the X, Y and Z rotations. Now I need to add some depth to this. So let us go to 3D format. I can choose depth here and let us say I want to add a depth of around 300 points. Instantly I have a beautiful 3D geometric shape available. Now I need to convert this into a wireframe image. How do I do that? It's very simple. You need to go to material and under special effect you have this option here called wireframe and instantly you have this beautiful image. And just as I showed you earlier, you can go to shape format, go to edit shape and change the shape to any of these shapes that you want. Now, let us say you have one shape drawn like this and you want to apply the same kind of perspective and all the properties to some other shape. You can do so quite nicely. Let me try and do that to a couple of shapes. Let me pick up this square while holding the shift button. I have drawn a square. Let me pick up the oval. So holding the shift button, I have drawn an oval. First, I select this shape, then I go to home, double click on this option called format painter and that copies all the formatting of this shape. Now, when I click on this new shape, instantly the properties of this shape are copied onto the new shape. Let me do that again for this shape here. Let me click on this and instantly you can see the impact. Once I'm done, I can hit escape to claim my cursor back and I can place it over here. Now, let us say I want to give this a chalk drawn effect. I can do so quite nicely by copying this and I have the background of a chalk here. Let me paste it over here. You can see that it is in black color, so it is not visible to the audience. Now, if I want to change the outline color, I cannot choose shape outline and change the outline color because this doesn't really impact this shape. For this, you need to go to 3D format once again by going to effects option. Then go to contour and change the color of the contour and instantly you have the contour colors changed. Once again, if I want to change the thickness of this, I cannot choose shape outline option. 
I need to once again go to contour and change this to say around six points and you can see the difference. In the meantime, do you want to learn some simple and creative PowerPoint ideas you can use in your next presentation? Then click on the link here to join our five day free email course called 25 creative PowerPoint ideas. These are simple, quick and useful PowerPoint ideas I have not shared elsewhere. So go ahead, click on the link, join the course and I will see you inside.